Today, an unusual home with grass on the roof plus a tree in the living room. An old remedy that may bring relief for colds. And beware before you buy. What to look for in a healthy home. Hello, I'm Tamara Stanners. Welcome to Healthy Home. Some home builders are now looking for healthier alternatives when they build new homes. Building materials sometimes contain glues or resins that emit fumes, and over time that can cause health problems. Our first story today is about a unique home in Vermont that is full of interesting options, from copper countertops to a tree growing inside. From the quiet country road, this looks like just another upscale house set in the Vermont woods. It's a nice looking place. It's in good shape. It's certainly spacious, and it's on a nice piece of property. Very nice. But isn't that a white ash growing up through the roof of the sunroom? Is that some sort of optical illusion? Well, no, it isn't. And the architect and owner, Ted Montgomery, has an explanation. Well, our tree, is the soul and the heartbeat of our, our house. We built a house around the tree. Uh, we, we've kept the tree alive. We've very carefully built around it. Uh, our whole family enjoys this tree. It's the centerpiece of our garden room. Ted Montgomery's house is an attempt to reduce stress. Stress on both the people who live here and stress on the world around them. Well, I've always said to people, keep your home to the sun, and I design from the heart. And those are kind of my, my two bywords. And I try to have a lot of fun with what I do. If I, if I can't have fun, then architecture is not something I want to do. This house uh, em embraces a lot of those things. This house has lots of whimsy. The tree cutouts on the front of the house are an example of that. Another bit of pure Ted design is the widow's walk on the roof. Ted just couldn't resist. Right now I can see the lake, just barely. Uh, it's an observation deck, kind of a widow's walk. Easy to build. I take the uh, canopy off in the winter. Like the leaves fall, the canopy comes off. And the roof walking doesn't stop there. One whole side of the roof is built like steps with the garden growing wild and free. Well, we built this to try to get uh, some grass and plants up on the roof to blend it in with the landscape a little bit. Uh, it's been great fun. As you can see, I can walk up and down this roof quite easily. Uh, some people think we should grow strawberries here. The plants and earth also insulate the house from tough Vermont winters. Earth insulation is used on the ground floor as well. Earth berms make the house blend into the land, and all that soil and turf keep the cold out. These tin cans in the sunroom are another one of Ted's forms of heating. What these cans are full of is a eutectic salt, and the eutectic salt melts at 80 degrees Fahrenheit. So when the room heats up to 80 degrees, it begins to melt the salt, which is very handy because it also maintains the temperature a bit. It, it, it soaks up the heat. As the room cools and nighttime comes, uh, the cans full of salt cool down. The salt solidifies and gives off its heat, its latent heat. Uh, very simple device. There are no wires. There's no electricity, no plumbing. It's just cans full of salt sitting in your room. Ted's worked hard to come up with clean ways of living here. He's tried all sorts of alternative designs to increase the beauty and efficiency of this place. And he's always looking for something new, especially when it comes to heating his home. We'd like to get through the winter without heating this room. And because we have 16 of these, each has 50 gallons, we have 800 gallons of water. So this helps maintain and stabilize the temperature of this room. It's a very simple, affordable, uh, way to do these kind of things and it provides great joy <laughs> it makes us feel good and we have plants in here that uh, don't freeze but they get a chance to winter so they get a chance to uh, survive on a slightly lower temperature for a bit the living areas in the house reflect Ted's imaginative styling Ted designed most of the furniture and you can never get too far away from that sense of fun 
To keep the inside healthy, the Montgomerys try to use as many natural materials as possible, and that includes lots and lots of copper. This is our copper countertop. We like copper. It's a very benign material. Been used in water supply systems for many, many years. Very safe. Uh, it's easy to clean. It looks like a million bucks when it is clean. We want to stay away from laminates. Laminates tend to have a lot of chemicals. The glues that put the laminate on the countertop tend to have a lot of chemicals and outgas for many years. So we stayed very simple, just a simple copper covering. I call it affordable elegance. Ted, his wife Sarah, and two teenage children have built themselves a comfortable life in Vermont. They're living out a dream, and so is the entire community. The 13 houses on this road encircle a field that everyone shares. Community members also share a lot of day-to-day -day decisions about the neighborhood. It's called the Ten Stones Community. Ten Stones was started in 1990 by my wife and another couple. We wanted to live in community. We wanted to build something that would be an exciting place, a loving place for our kids to be. We bought 85 acres of land. We got 13 amazing families together, uh, and we built a neighborhood that works. Uh, you know, we, we love living here. It's, uh, it's just the greatest place, and everybody has put their own homes together. And essentially, everybody has brought their dreams here. Ted Montgomery's worked hard to follow his dreams, and his family is living healthier as a result.